Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. So that is Peaches, the Pearl Burmese Python, and this is the Suriname Redtail. And we're gonna be feeding her, and we're gonna be feeding a couple other boas. Wanted to talk to you guys, because some of you guys had questions about uh, some of the cages that I use, and then I guess I could do a quick update or a review on the, uh, the black PVC enclosures that I have, because I don't think I've ever gone over those. And some of you guys who are local or uh, kind of in the nearing states from me, which I'm in Ohio, you guys might be interested in how these are before buying them. I'm gonna give you guys an honest uh, review. They're obviously not given to me, not sponsored. I pay with my own money on these. And I do have quite a few, so they can't be that bad. But before we get into that, uh, let's go ahead and we're not going to feed her, but man, she is looking, she's looking gorgeous and she is getting thick and large. She is two years old, a little over two years old, and you cannot tell me she look does not look good. So we're going to feed the red tail a, what is this, a wrap up or a weaned? I really don't know, but this girl is beautiful, very, very bright tail. If she'll let us see it, uh, maybe possibly a little bit. I don't want to mess her up uh, eating, but there she is. And then the moon glow, which is looking very nice. She's going to get a rat pup as well. She's growing very quickly and nicely. Let's see if she's hungry, and she is, which is always exciting. So. I don't want to put those right next to the burn because I don't need a feeding response from her. And we will feed the snow. I think the snow could get a little bit bigger meal than that. But he is doing very well. We'll go over to the Motley. So IMG Motley, sometimes she gets darker, sometimes she gets lighter. I really don't understand what's going on with her. Or sorry, him, that, that's, that's the male. Um, but beautiful patterns. I love the patterns down the tail and on the back. I like mot Motley's regardless, but I really hope this turns darker <laughs> than uh, what he is now. And under here, which we used as a little stand, it's the Orange Dream Leopard Enchi Pied. Um, so he is doing very well. He ate not too long ago a, quite a large meal and i'm glad he kept that down so let's talk about cages obviously well if you don't know i'm not gonna say obviously because some people don't know what this is um over here i keep the basic uh babies ball pythons over here i just kind of made this really fast like i think last year and then i got the touch from walmart no problem and we have a 70 30 which works out very well for me I have three open slots at the bottom, which will go to some of the, which will be for the grow up uh, boas. And then the boas in here, they're all small. They're all perfectly okay in the 70-30. A lot of people think racks uh, are inhumane or they're uh, inhumane. And what's the other word that people say? Oh, animal abuse, that's what it is. We're abusing our animals if we keep them in here. but. I don't really understand what the difference is in that or in those because just one of them has a window and I don't think snakes really care if they can see out into the bedroom. That's just my thought on it. But I think some people do cram too large of snakes into rack systems and I think that can be a problem. And I think that's kind of given the bad image on uh, rack systems where people are putting very large snakes and small ones. But I think the 7030, which is this, is the perfect size because, you know, adult, I don't have any adult um, ball pythons, but here's a ball python that is almost a thousand grams. Plenty of room in here, plenty of room to move around and to grow. And I think it's also perfect for younger uh, boas. So this girl's kind of a good size. BPI IMG, plenty of room in here. And this Suriname Redtail is 
larger and she still has a lot of room in here to move around now no she can't probably fully stretch out but um, i take them out often and they do have a lot of time outside so i interact with my snakes a lot so they they do get the energy and stuff like that so let's talk about uh we'll talk about these these are christmas tree totes uh they were difficult to find this year because of uh the lack of everything but if you can't find them i'm sure the price has gone up on them they are very nice they just have the locking lids on the top the locks suck so be very careful when you use those one thing that I have noticed on these is that it is wider on top than on the bottom. So the bottom kind of cuts down a little bit. So less room on the bottom, more room on the top. Some people may like that. Some people might not like that. It keeps humidity very well. I guess you could strap a radiant heat panel on the top. I don't know, but I keep the room at about 85 degrees with oil heaters right there. And right here, in the wintertime, I needed two of them. In the summertime, I will only need one. It is very pretty. The plastic is pretty thick on it. So I don't know if a heat pad would work. I'm sure it would at a very high heat. But for like 30 bucks, you can't beat it. They are four feet. I would say 20, 18, 20 inches on the bottom, which some people like that. Some people don't. I've seen very large snakes in, um, in those with... I mean, they're cramped, but it does work. And then this one, I bought the PVC sheets and I built this on my own. It's, it's, they're eight by four sheets, but in reality, it's almost, it's over, a little over eight and a half feet. And then I cut it to three feet, so it's three feet deep, almost two feet high. And then uh, that's where Pop-Tart is. So I have two radiant heat panels under there. I have a hundred and then a 80, which both of them work. And there she is. I have her water out because um, well, she poops in it every day and it's cleaning time. I have the other anaconda in here, which is perfect. Like I said, it holds humidity extremely well. So let's talk about the freedom or the, um, I don't know if I said freedom, the, uh, the reptile factory. So they're located just south of Dayton, Ohio. They go to most of the times, all the Ohio shows, Kentucky, Indiana, uh, surrounding states. I know they were at Tinley. So I don't have like animal plastics or boa files or anything like that to compare these two. So that would be an unfair thing to say that those are way better. But I have seen videos of people who own them. And just by looking at them, they're, they look extremely sturdy. These are very nice. They are uh, hand cut. So none of it's cut by CNC or uh, laser cut or anything like that. So, you know, it's not 100% perfect but it definitely works out very well. And I do have five of them, so if they were bad, I, I wouldn't buy them. But I think you marked the price up a little bit now because of cost on, I don't know if this is PVC plastic or, or if it's ABE, ABS. I don't know what the other plastic is. I couldn't tell you, I'm not an expert on this plastic. I just say it's PVC because when you, when you tell somebody a PVC enclosure, they automatically know what's going on with it so the sheets are extremely thin on them and but but it's really good construction and 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 it's well put together i would say for 160 dollars with no weight if you go to a show i don't know if he uh ships i doubt it but you know going to a show and paying 160 dollars for this and not waiting six months to a year like animal plastics, nothing against them because I've never owned anything from them, so I don't I don't know the quality. But animal plastic, you know, they have amazing products. Everybody knows that. The one thing that I have noticed with this uh, style is the top does bow a little bit. It's kind of hard to see here, but it does have a slight bow. There's no internal support on here, but of course they are very stackable, and they've been stacked like this for. A couple of years so now when, when i was in my old room and i moved everything into this room i down stacked it's like the top became the bottom and vice versa so everything got kind of got re-rotated and i did notice the very bottom one when i rotated it it had a very significant warp on it so no collapsing uh the glue or whatever he uses on the inside holds holds up very well the humidity in here is 
beyond, I would say phenomenal. You can see the moisture in here and, and she barely has any water. So no issues with that. It holds heat in here extremely well. I don't run any heating elements inside here. Just pulling the berm out, not even like two seconds before I turn the video camera on, um, she was warm to the touch, which is probably a good thing. I hope. <laughs> um, I really don't monitor the temperatures in here, although I probably should. And uh, so everything could, but you can mount um, the radiant heat panel on here, but it is very thin, so watch out for the screws sticking out on top. So the thin construction might have some people worried, but the good thing about it is it, since it is thin on the bottom, and I've done this, you can run the heat pads, and I'm sure you can run the flex heat on here with no problem at all. And it, you know, it, it's very warm to the touch and you don't have to crank the heat up on a thermostat very high to, to feel heat come through here. Obviously you want your desired heat, you need a heat gun to see where, it, where the surface temperature so you don't, so you don't burn your snake. But that is, that's what I do like about the thinness of this. This is a half inch uh, thick and there's no possible way you could run any type of a heat pad or, or heat tape on this and it would go through. It just would not happen. Uh, this is just basic, I would assume, standard plexiglass, which I've had no problems with it. It's very sturdy. I've had no problems with any of the latches at all on any of these. I've had no problems with these latches right here. Um, it swivels down perfectly. I do like, I would probably prefer sliding glass, but that would be more. The edges are extremely tight on here, on all of them. I've never had a snake uh, wedge their way out of here. Now, sometimes if you do leave it like that and just one clip here, I have done that <laughs> and I come in with a missing snake. So that's obviously my fault and not the construction of this. So the, the size on these, which is smaller than the industry standard, I would say. So it is four feet. It's, I think it's 13 inches high, maybe it's 12 but it's 20 inches deep. So I know a lot of the animal plastics and the bow files are 24 inches deep, extra four inches, depending on who you're talking about, it really doesn't matter. But if you do own these and you go to animal plastics and you want to stack them because they all would be stackable, you're going to have an indifference on, on, the, on the lips right here. One might be pushed out more or sunken in. So it's not going to have that full flush look, but overall, I do like these for 160 bucks and you can pick them up at a show immediately and just take them home. That's phenomenal. Um, and I, I haven't had any problems with them. Negative things on it is pretty much all positive, but these are very, uh, they don't, they don't have any give. Like I said, my Argentine smacked these a few times and it scares me that she's going to break her neck. I think you can custom make doors where they're black, blacked out. So if you guys have snakes like I do that do hit the, uh, the glass very hard, uh, commotion around them, uh, he might black those out for you. And that is it. That's basically everything on where my snakes are and live. Some people will disagree and want to argue with me that none of these are adequate <laughs> sizes for the snakes and you know that that's a debate that will go on forever so i do need to put the new lighting in here i just have not done it yet we can see the albino right there she's almost six feet and you can see how much room she has so sometimes they do have hides obviously this normal one is kind of in the hide some of them like the hides and some of them just don't use the hides so even with a six foot, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen breeder size. I'm not saying she's breeder size, but full breeder size boas in these. And, um, yeah, they're a little cramped. I, I think like the six foot would be better. Obviously if you're on a budget, you don't want to wait a year and your snake is growing faster than what you thought. These would be perfect for 160 bucks and they can always be used for grow up cages. Like, if I get into six foot cages for the bigger snakes, like her, she's gonna need an eight footer at some point. I can always move a snake out of the 7030 into one of these and it's cheaper, you know what I mean? So anyways, that is it. This 
Moon Glow right here is eating. I don't want to disturb her too much, but there she is. Looking beautiful. That is it, hey guys. I really appreciate the support on the channel. Hopefully you guys uh, kind of enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think, your thoughts, concerns, or anything like that. And uh, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.